case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In an unfortunate series of events, the name James J. McDermott, once at the helm of the prominent investment bank Keefe Bruyette and Woods, KBW, became embroiled in a scandal involving insider trading and an intricate love affair. McDermott found himself sharing more than passionate moments with his extramarital partner, adult film star Catherine Gannon, a.k.a. Marilyn Starr. Gannon, who was simultaneously juggling a relationship with another man, Anthony Pomponio, became the unwitting conduit for McDermott's insider stock tips, which in turn enabled Pomponio to profit an estimated $170,000 from these secret exchanges. In this whirling vortex of finance, affairs, and crime, McDermott was originally sentenced to a fate of eight months in prison, two years of supervised release, and monetary penalties to the tune of $25,500. His crime, conspiracy to commit insider trading, a charge filed by the lower court that now hangs by a fragile thread following an appeal. The United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit, upon reviewing McDermott's case in 2001, presided over a significant loophole in the charges. The courts examined the essential premise that for a defendant to be guilty of conspiracy to commit insider trading, there requires a mutual agreement between parties to the information's onward transmission. In McDermott's situation, no such agreement existed, forming a weak link in their argument against him and leading to the reversal of the conspiracy charge. This intriguing case thus launched a fresh chapter with McDermott being ordered to face a new trial on the substantive counts, ultimately casting a grim shadow over the vestiges of his tarnished career. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.